you gorgeous people of the interwebs welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel i am gwenny and i love luxury in all of its glorious forms i hope you are having a fan dabby dozy day and if you're here to kill a little bit of time you can run through with me what is on my revised 2020 wish list what could have changed I hope you're as fan dabby dozy as can be in this current situation and I want to know are any of you having some really crazy dreams? Husband and I have been having, so, like husband always has very crazy vivid dreams, me not so much, but recently every night it has been a roller coaster of weirdness that our brains are trying to process. So have you been experiencing that as well? I heard on the radio the other day that this does appear to be a if not worldwide, a national phenomenon here in the UK. Has it got you too? Mm. Before we get started, I want to say a massive thank you to all of my subscribers, new and old. Thank you so much for sticking with me and I'm very happy to say that I have hit 100 subscribers. Yay! I am over the moon. Um, I honestly didn't think anyone would find me that interesting. So a massive, massive thank you. And if you're watching this and you haven't yet subscribed, why don't you? You're here. You might as well. You're already watching me. Hit subscribe. Go on. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, feel free to give it a thumbs down, but I would appreciate you leaving a comment in the comment section down below to say why you didn't enjoy it. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. If you hadn't already seen my 2020 wishlist video, I will put a little linky thing up here so you can go and check it out afterwards. If you did watch my 2020 wishlist video, you will know that I separated out the wishlist into categories. Uh, those categories being a small handbag, a large handbag, an SLG, obs, gotta have an SLG, shoes, belt, scarf, jewellery and travel items. And I did this because I didn't want to just go, do you know what, I just want 20 handbags. Because we all know that's really, really easy to do. It's just like, oh, I like that, yeah, oh, I like that, yeah, <laughs> oh, I like that. I want one of those, I want one of those, I want one of those in every single colour. So easy to do. So I thought, give myself some parameters, try and stick within those parameters. So the first item to change on my 2020 wish list is the first item on the 2020 wish list, and that is the small handbag. Originally, I had the Alexander McQueen The Story shoulder bag on my 2020 wish list, and I do think this is a beautiful piece, and I absolutely love it, and one day I would love to have that bag in my collection but I've been a fool I've been an absolute fool there is a bag that I have had and I have sold and I miss and is small so that should be the first thing on my wish list it's I almost forgot about it because it's just there it's just I need to get that bag again I need to get it again some of you aren't gonna like it some of you are gonna love it it is the Gucci Soho Disco. Now I know a lot of people think that this bag is completely outdated, it's done its time, it's me, who, who wants one of those anymore? But I had one, it was a 40th birthday gift from my family um, and they asked me what colour I would like and I went for orange because I thought I am going to go outside of my comfort zone colour wise and that was a mistake. The bag was beautiful. The bag was glorious, the leather phenomenal, but the colour, man, I just can't wear that colour. I've got a yellowy undertone to my skin and while I like things like mustard and burnt orange and things like that, they just don't work for me. So I sold that bag and I put the proceeds for that bag towards buying my Gucci Marmont Matalassi shoulder bag um, for my birthday last year, so I still have a family birthday bag, but I have missed the Soho Disco and I'm going to get it in red. That Gucci red is so 
utterly, utterly gorgeous. I bought a Soho disco shoulder bag uh, from Vista Village last year purely because it was in that beautiful Gucci red. That was a mistake. The bag was beautiful, it was glorious, it was wonderful. It suited me, um, but it wasn't my style. So I sold that and I need to get, I just need to get the Soho Disco in red. The bag that I should have been buying a year ago anyway. Item number two on my wish list was a large handbag and that was the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM in Damier Azure and it still is. Okay, in light of the recent Louis Vuitton price increases, I am taking this uh, Neverfull off my 2020 wish list now. It is uh, £1,040, which is just too much for a canvas tote for me. I am still on the lookout for a summery tote. So I do have a few other options which I'd like to show you. Um, a little bit more research needs to be done before I settle on the final one. But I've pretty much got it down to this Saint Laurent shopping tote, um, which is in marble pink. It's in leather. It's £700 and it has a detachable pouch. And you know me in pouches. I saw it. I thought, oh, that could be quite lovely. But we shall see. The second option I found is the Liberty Marlborough Ifis canvas tote in light grey, which is £495. Now that is a treated canvas similar to the Louis Vuitton Neverfull and therefore should be pretty robust. And I like the light grey. It's got a pattern, but it isn't going to shout over everything else that you're wearing. So that is also a possibility. And the final possibility is this Coach Chain Central tote in taupe for £375. Now again, this is leather. Um, it does say it's a, it's a very durable pebbled leather, and I believe them. Uh, we know coach quality is really, really good. But the thing that I really, really, really like about this one is the chain handles on the top, which are in silver hardware and they look very sexy to me. But also there are longer shoulder straps on the inside in a similar similar style to the Louis Vuitton on the go. So I could carry it by my hand and I could carry it on my shoulder. So that looks like a, a really good option as well. And as I said, that's £375, so a bit of a bargain. Item number three on my original 2020 wish list was the Chanel phone card holder, I think it's called. Uh, and I chose that one because I hadn't seen anything like it before. I thought it looked amazing. I thought, oh, this could be a little cheeky way to test the Chanel waters. The only thing I didn't like about it was the way your phone kind of slotted in vertically in the back. Also, it's really, really expensive. I have since become aware of the Saint Laurent bill pouch, which comes in three different sizes. The small, the bill pouch and the large bill pouch. I have yet to choose a size. I really need to go and play with them. I want something where my phone would be able to slip in there. But I've also got a real thing if I have got the possibility of doing it I like to have my notes flat at the moment I've got a big wallet that I'm using to keep everything together normally I'd be using a card holder something like that or a little coin purse um, and I'd fold it up and stick it in there but if I have the opportunity I would like to have flat bills because they annoy me the new notes annoy me because they're a kind of plasticky thing and they don't fold particularly well Hubby has said that he will get me one of those bill pouches for our anniversary present. It was our anniversary on the 1st of April. Yes, we are the April Fools. So I'm fairly certain that that item on my wish list will actually become part of my collection. It's just a matter of when. I don't want to be ordering loads and then sending loads back just so I can try them at home. Although that is an option. Could probably try that. Maybe I'll look into that. The fourth item on my 2020 wish list was shoes and I chose the uh, Gucci leather ankle boots which are beautiful and I did say I'm willing to try going back into heels for these bad boys but 
I've got to be honest, especially with everything that's happened in the last couple of months, I wear sneakers. I wear flats. I'm a flats girl. I wear sneakers. I wear DMs. I wear sandals. So I am swapping out those for a pair of sneakers. Alexander McQueen, the oversized sneakers. These were on the honourable mentions from my 2020 wishlist video. And I just can't stop thinking about them. I know they've been around forever. I know everyone's saying, oh, don't get those because they're they're just like I've, I'm getting conflicting conflicting messages from my favorite youtubers Cassie says they're done everyone in the world and their wife is wearing them maybe there's a reason for that maybe it's because they're comfy maybe because they're great and they look fantastic and then I've got Sophie Shohet who has just bought a pair her first pair and I'm thinking I've had my heart set on them for years I, I just I, they're the ones. They are the new thing on my shoes section of my 2020 wish list. Category number five on my 2020 wish list was belts. And I originally had the Gucci leather belt with interlocking horse bit. That was giving me some serious bat logo vibes and I am all about that bat symbol, bat logo. Who cares? It's all about the bat. I have since reconsidered this one because there is a lot of hardware on that one. There's a lot of hardware going on. I'm like, whoa. I'd feel like maybe I'd want a wrestling tournament or something like that. So I am sticking with Gucci because they do make belt belts for the larger lady. But I am going with the more simple interlocking G. Not the GG, the interlocking G. It still gives me a little bit of that signal flavour with a cheeky little G as a nod to Gwenny but is a little more understated. Category number six is scarves and there is only one place for me to go for a scarf and it is Alexander McQueen and it is still the beating heart skeleton shawl. I have got another McQueen scarf that is on my hit list but I think I'm only ever going to be able to find that on pre-loved market and I wanted to keep this 2020 wish list for um, new items that are available now. So that is why I am sticking with my original choice. Category number seven is jewellery and I originally, this one has changed, I originally had the uh, the Gucci brooch, the GG brooch with the surrounded by crystals on there and I do still love it, I do still love it but I am increasingly becoming a fan of wearing my silver items again, just found this, I don't want that, just found this in a drawer, this is a uh, silver bracelet that my mum gave me and I think she chose this because the heart clasp might have reminded her of the Tiffany pendant, the heart, open heart pendant that I was wearing a lot at the time. Um, and I am just loving wearing my silver at the moment. So I have actually chosen the Tiffany small bead bracelet. I am not that bothered about Tiffany blue. So the enamel, the Tiffany blue enamel doesn't really interest me that much. Um, I will either go for the plain silver or maybe give it a little pop with that kind of corally pink. But that's something that I can put on and leave on. I can shower in it, I can do everything on there. And uh, potentially, potentially get the matching mini heart tag pendant on a longer chain. If I've got a longer chain, I might be able to wear my open heart pendant as well. Category number eight was travel and originally I had the Louis Vuitton passport holder and Speedy B from the Mon Monogram range which I do believe they have just changed to the Heritage Collection. I believe that is true, it may be like that where you are, it may not be like that where you are but I've certainly seen it on the UK version of the website. So I have ditched the idea of going Mon Monogram for my travel pieces mostly because I'm not that huge a fan of Vachetta and even with the Mon Monogram you can choose the lining, you can choose the stripes and colours and stuff on the outside but you still have to have the Vachetta handles and strap and I'm just not a fan of Vachetta. It's too light, I'm worried about it getting grubby, absolutely killed the straps on my Neverfull. They look so filthy, it's ridiculous and I don't want to be having that on a travel piece so I have decided in my wisdom that I will look to add the Makassar monogram 
45 bandolier to the collection. Another Louis Vuitton 2020 wishlist item bites the dust. This um, Makassar Keepall 45 bandolier is now £1,400, which is £130 more than the 55 bandolier we bought last year. So it's being nixed. And because we already have the 55 bandolier and I have a Neverfull, which I generally use for travelling, I am looking to add the Gucci Ophidia GG cosmetic case to my collection instead. I see this being an excellent travel piece as well as something that I could actually use at home on a daily basis. The main point that I like about this vanity case is that the back of it is flat so it will sit nicely against a wall. The top handle is a must. Internally it's a nylon wipe clean interior and uh, I really like all of the elastic pockety things to hold bottles upright. I think that's really really useful and it's got a mirror built in. Now, who wouldn't want that in a vanity case? So yes I think this is going to be the uh, new travel piece for my collection. And at £610, it's a very affordable travel piece to add to the collection, uh, considering I can use it every day as well. Brilliant. I had three honourable mentions in my last wishlist video. Uh, one of those was the Alexander McQueen oversized sneakers, which has now been elevated, elevated, promoted to an actual wish list item. The other two were the Bottega Veneta, the pouch, which I still can't stop loving. I just can't stop loving you. Ah. And I don't know why. It's a ridiculous bag, it, but it is glorious at the same time. Ridiculous and glorious. <laughs> and I do really, really want one. Uh, the other piece was the Chanel 19, and that remains on my honourable wish list mentions. You might agree that things are starting to get a bit silly now. Uh, at the time of editing, the Chanel website is showing the price of this 19 flat bag as prices available upon Quest. So that means it's coming. We have seen some price rises in excess of 17% uh, on the Chanel latest price increase and some of the mini flaps, I understand, are, are more along the sort of 24, 25% increase which is just outrageous so i was thinking oh that's another item that i need to ditch even though it is just on my honorable mentions and really do i have the energy to try and find something else to replace it with and it did come to me that actually there is another handbag that i've been looking at and it does have a lot of the same features as the chanel 19. it is the salon medium college bag in quilted leather it is a flat bag it has a rear a slip pocket it has a removable crossbody strap and a grab handle on the top and uh, it's a fraction of the price or whatever that new price might be I'm also quite a fan of this asphalt grey colour it's uh, it's a great neutral and I think it's something that would really add a pop to my wardrobe but at £1,580 versus who knows how much um, yeah it's looking like a good bet for me my only concern is it may be a little bit too similar to my Lulu Puffer in terms of looks, but uh, I, would, I think I would like to get into store and have a look and a play with this and, and compare the two. So there you have it. The Summer Roll Medium College in Asphalt Grey is officially replacing the Chanel number no. 19 bag on my honourable mentions. There is a spare slot on the honourable mentions and I am thinking it's going to be filled potentially with some slides potentially with some espadrilles i'm hearing good things about the saint laurent leather espadrilles i'm loving the gucci slides we shall see there's a little bit of toss-up let's make it four honourable mentions and we'll have one of each on there. That is all from me today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video then please do give it a thumbs up. Each one is gratefully received. Hit subscribe, ring my bell so you know when I upload my next video and in the meantime until then stay fan dabby dozy, stay safe, stay groovy even, stay sane look after each other, love each other, be kind. Bye-bye!